Hello and welcome back to the road to KSP2. Today we're going to have two landings, one on Duna, one on Lave. And uh, yeah, we're launching a rocket today. But first, can you please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. It helps out the channel, helps out you, helps out me, helps out, you know, really anyone. And uh, yeah, I'm on the way to a thousand subs. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not really there yet. But anyway, we're starting off with Power Arm 2, which is launching from the KSC, the Kerbal Space Center. Anyway, we are... Uh, this rocket launch here is for the... Uh, what is it? The Tai Chi Station. Tai Chi Station needs more power, and it also needs a way to cool itself off. So we're getting out some radiators. We're putting some radiators on the station. Because remember, the last time we sent something up there, the radiators broke. So we need to go up there and fix this. Anyway, here we are uh, bringing our station over to... Well, not station, but bringing our arm, our power... Can, what, what is it? What, what? I guess our solar panel arm over there. Solar panel truss. Yeah, that's what it's called on the International Space Station. Isn't it? It's the truss section. Yeah, so we're bringing our solar panel truss over there. This will be the second one. And I think we're going to add two more after this. To the, to the station. Uh, not today, though. We're, we're not going to do any of that today. Because today we have some more important things to deal with uh, that we kind of set up in the last episode. Uh, both of which are landings. One of them was not really planned, uh, but we did it specifically for the memes. Because why the hell not? Anyway, now we are... Uh, lining up our docking port to the other docking port so we can kind of orientate our uh, our not really our thing but it's so we can orientate our solar panels so that they're at the same orientation as the other set of solar panels just so it looks nicer uh, doesn't really help with anything we already produce more than enough power. So, yeah. That is the point that we are doing. And so, yeah. There is section 2 of the truss. And now it has radiators, which are actually set to cool. And actually now cool off the station. And here is our second stage of our rocket now deorbiting itself. So that it can, uh, well... You, you know, uh, so we can recover it for more funds. And uh, I had it come in at a pretty steep angle. I mean, the the payload it carried was pretty light, so it had more than enough uh, to make this burn and, you know, do what it needed to do. So I also noticed we were going towards the ocean, and I, I was actually able to steer it, like, pretty effectively. Which I was pretty shocked with, and then I probably caught, could have gotten it a little bit closer, but, you know, I didn't want to risk the thing. And yeah, we actually were able to fully recover it. Anyway, we here we are with the KSS Atlantis. Last episode, I think I called it the Avalon. Uh, that was total mistake. Anyway, it's in Orbit of Jewel. It's really high up in Orbit of Jewel. Like, ridiculously high up. So far up that it took half a year to get to this point and it'll take half of a year to get us back down which is f just absolutely insane uh so yeah i uh i don't know why it's going so slow here but uh yeah so we basically had to align ourselves and then we could burn and this is where i started to realize that you know we might have had some planning mistakes here along the way um and that i might need to send a second mission to jewel but you know i was maybe i was thinking maybe i can get away with it maybe i won't need to so i was kind of just thinking that it wouldn't really necessarily like need to happen 
and like you know we could get away with it we just need to do a lot of encounters with you know like Tylo and Lave and things like that just so we can swing ourselves into a pretty good orbit around Jewel and so we can finally land on Lave and get some Kerbals to set foot on Lave which you know is a pretty good idea but now we are over here at Moho 1 I forgot to put in the little like logo thing for this one yeah, anyway, Moho 1 is about to make its final pass of Moho, final plan pass of Moho. Um, and then, yeah, there it is. There's Moho in all of its glory. Uh, and yeah, it'll just be a permanent, uh, it'll just be a permanent, uh, dish. And yeah, we got some, we got some pretty cool views of Moho. Anyway, now we're jumping to Aphrodite four which is an orbit of Kerbal it's uh yeah it's it's on its way back to uh Kerbin it uh is going to land that little capsule on the top for some very much needed scientific data uh it's gonna land it back on uh Kerbin as you can see Minmus is visible in the distance as is Kerbin uh Granted, it is several, several months out, uh, and the plan is to just, just, just basically hit Kerbin with it. It just try and slow down enough, hit Kerbin. Anyway, we are back to Bellum Station, which we saw in the last video. This is going to be our Duna Station that'll orbit Duna, and. Yeah, so the whole point of this station is so that we can actually start getting a substantial infrastructure around the entire Kerbal system. Yeah, it's, it's specifically just so we can have a tighter infrastructure. We can actually have some Kerbals stationed on this station for good periods of time. I haven't decided how long I want them stationed on the station, but I'm thinking two transfer windows is probably appropriate. Yeah, so basically we're just going to just have it like be in orbit, have the whole thing where the carvels stay there for about six months or so. And then from there we basically just have it uh be like a station we'll have a lander that accompanies it that can go down to the surface gather fuel come back up refuel the station and just do the whole thing and it'll be like a cool little part of our whole duna infrastructure but i had some problems i had to drain all of the fuel into the back tank uh from the central tank because of you know issues with how the whole thing goes anyway so i have to do this so i can get a good orbit around duna and then we can you know have a good old grand time yeah so here we are we were on a complete just straight just straight trajectory towards duna and now we're going to change that trajectory just a little bit so we can eventually get a good orbital or good orbit around Duna. Here we are coming in ever so fast. And here we are just going to move it over just a little bit so we don't crash into the planet and we can actually, you know, get a good orbit thing here. Um, except I accidentally warped past the planet, which is a problem. And so I had to spend way more fuel than I was comfortable with to just push it back. Um, yeah, that wasn't, you know, a good, good idea. So here I am just turning it around. And I'm going to turn it around just a little bit. Now we're on a just crash course towards Duna, and I just realized that maybe we just do a very eccentric orbit. I'll get another ship out here to Duna. It'll move it over. Anyway. Yeah, now we're at Saturn 1, because we ran out of time. 
Uh, Saturn one, we sh sent it up several episodes ago. It's still on its way. Still nowhere close to Sarnus. It's uh, yeah, it's gonna be our like, yeah. Look at look at how far it has to go. It still has, it it still has what is that? Seven years, seven years to get to Sarnus. Yeah, it's gonna take a hot minute. Now we're back at Bellum Station, uh, and we'll be able to, you know fix our problem here with the fact that we're literally just on a trajectory straight towards the planet. Um, now we actually have somewhat of an orbit had to turn off hibernation mode and then we can drag our thing down so that we have a semi-respectable orbit around the planet. And now we're back at the KSS Atlantis. Uh, it's still in orbit of Jewel. Still doing its thing. Just absolutely crushing it at its job. And yeah, now we're going to just fast forward it a little bit. And we're going to do our little burn there. So that we can get a good encounter with Tylo. So that we can get a better encounter with Lave. Here I am trying to work out how we're going to get an encounter with Lave. And right now I was actually trying to get it to another planet, but realized that that is just a lot. Well, actually, I did get it with that planet. So yeah, where's here we are. It's I accidentally messed up the lettering, but I can't change that now. So here we are just, you know, going to do our orbit and then I'm going to disconnect it. And then I'm going to disconnect the other part, and then we're just going to, you know, just try and get ourselves to land on the surface here. Here we are coming in at quite a quick pace. But, you know, it'll be our first landing of the episode. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how little of an atmosphere Duna has when you're not careening in at, you know like in insane speed instead of orbit instead you're at orbital velocity it's actually quite pleasant of a descent and yeah here we are coming in really slowly and kind of flip over and crash but that's fine because we're never going to see it again um oh i don't know why i put bellum station in duna orbit anyway here it is uh, yeah, sorry about the miscommunication there. Yeah, but anyway, we're at the KSS Atlantis. Uh, we're doing several orbits, and then we're going to do our burn and get into a encounter with, uh, was it Bop? I think it's Bop. Getting into a encounter with Bop. And then from there, we should be able to get into a pretty good encounter with Lave. Because our end goal of the episode is Lave. We're landing on Lave. But just how we get there, that's the question. That's the true question. So yeah. Here I am just trying to, like, oh wait, I guess I didn't? I, I think I might have missed some of the uh, some of the planning here. Anyway, we're now closer to Lave than we were. Um, ah, there we go. Now I got an encounter with Lave. And, yep, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to maneuver that exactly as it is. And we're going to point towards the direction of the direction that we will fire our engines in. Because that's how rocket ships work. And here we are. We're doing our 600 meter per second burn on a ship that honestly should not be burning this much. This ship should probably never go out past Duna. Uh, I thought it would be able to, but it's really just a ship to go to Duna. This should have never gone to Jewel. I need to design a whole new ship, whole new fleet. I need to get better nuclear engines. That's one of the reasons why we're out here trying to unlock stuff like that. So we can actually land on planets like Sarnus. Also, after this mission, we can now send a mission to Sarnus 
which is like my own like personal thing. I can only get to like the next planet before I send crew to the next one. So I can finally get people out to Sarnus. Yeah. So here we are just doing some collecting of data. And yeah. There we go. Now we're in uh now we're in orbit of lave. And now it is time to disconnect our thing. But then I realized that, wait a minute, we don't have enough fuel. So I went back and I tried to maneuver the thing, but it wouldn't work. So I had to re, I had to like dock the thing. I had to dock the lander to the probe. There's a pain. The probe's name is Alpha, by the way. I keep forgetting to say that. But then it was just a pain to try and get the, the probe this it was just stressful all of the way yeah these these missions are quite annoying but anyway we should have it about docked any second now there we go docked and now I'm transferring all of the fuel so now it's just guaranteed that you know we need to just send another mission out here to uh, lathe just for you know to just for fuel to come back because uh, if not we won't have enough fuel to do anything yep here we are we're looping around because we're trying to get to this specific point and here we are we're gonna do a quick burn and it'll change our trajectory just enough so we can land on a landmass and not in the ocean because if we land in the ocean this thing will tip sideways and then we won't be able to get out of the water Yeah, this is quite a quite a long burn, but it's you know we have to we have to do it in order to get there. And there we go, and another burn. And yeah, we should basically be golden for landing here. Yep, and there's exactly where we're going to land. We're coming in quite quickly, and yeah. Here it is, we're coming in. I decided to do some weird things to kind of flatten ourselves out, slow down our trajectory. We're kind of coming in pretty fast. So I also did a thing to like make sure our parachutes go off pretty early. And here we are coming in for the final uh, well, landing. But as you can tell, I've been talking pretty negatively about this mission today. And it's because well, here we are. We're coming down, coming down quite quickly for a planet with such a thick atmosphere. And then we bounce and we pull up half the ship. Anyway, that's been it for today. We're sending out another mission. Goodbye.